myself sagar choksi so in previous session we have started a new concept a new chapter that related to entrepreneurship and that we have already completed in last session so in today's session we are going to discuss about a new concept a new chapter that related to waste management right so in today's session we are going to discuss about three topics first one that related to concept of waste management second one that related to classification of scrap or you can take classification of waste and third one an important one that is factor involved in waste formation so let's start the lecture lecture number 35 that related to waste management so uh, now we can talk about waste or you can take what is waste right so let's uh, take one example that uh, if we are doing uh, an operation on lathe machine for example turning operation right so uh, we all know that there will be some uh, scrap generated and that scrap is known as waste right so that scrap either you can sell or you can reuse so this is what the concept of waste so move forward to first point first point and important one that is waste are unwanted or unusable material second one that is waste is any substance which is discarded after primary use we talk about industry then there will be some scrap but if we will talk about some chemical industry then there will be some chemical formation or you can take chemical mixture so that that is known as waste right so each and every industry there will be some different scrap or different wastage right so move forward to third point so the third and important one that is the waste produced by the industrial activity is called as industrial waste and fourth one that is industry mill mining operation and power plant produce a huge amount of waste as i discussed earlier each and every uh, application having some different scrap or you can take having some different wastage right so this is what the concept of waste so move forward to next one next topic that is classification of waste so here i have attached one table that related to classification of waste so the first and important one that is obsolete item second one that is surplus item and that is scrap right so this is what the classification of waste there are three different classification obsolete second one that is surplus and third one that is scrap so let's uh, talk on that move forward to next slide next one that is classification of waste so first and important one that is obsolete item what is the function of obsolete item so material hold an economical value and are not damaged first and important function that is material hold an economical value and are not damaged but are not useful to the company for long term or even take long period so move forward to second point and one that is a surplus item so it is very important material do not have immediate use as i talk earlier but have been ms due to faulty planning and purchasing so move forward to third point third one that is scrap so as i discussed earlier for example turning operation so there will be some uh, scrap generated so this refers to the process waste such as a turning and boring right so this is what the classification of waste there are mainly three different types of wastage first one that is obsolete second one that is surplus and third one that is scrap so move forward to next slide next one that is the reason for generation and accumulation of obsolete surplus and scrap item so the first and important reason that is changes in product design first and important one that is changes in product design so how it can be implemented so after a product have been in the market for some time it requires to be replaced with new one so this is what the changes in product is it second one that is rationalization so how it can be implemented so there can be need to rationalize input required through standardization and simplification move forward to third point third point that is uh, faulty planning and forecasting so now we can talk about faulty planning and forecasting the marketing department may have projected a sales forecast which might be on the higher side so this is what the concept of quality planning and forecasting 
sub optimizing decision taken without having to take care of a related factor to lead to obsolete and surplus stock item so this is what the reason for generation and accumulation of obsolete surplus and scrap item so move forward to next slide next one that is factor involved in waste management frequent factor involved in waste formation so there are mainly three factor involved in uh, waste formation first and important one that is faulty transportation method second one that is improper storage and third one that is lack of control procedure let's talk on that move forward to next slide next one that is faulty transportation method as the name suggest faulty transportation so now we can talk to first point so improper transportation method lead to waste formation second one that is when material are transported in bulk wastage occur by spillage material and that is in some volatile element wastage is in the form of evaporation losses for example petrol for example diesel so this is what the concept of evaporation losses so move forward to fourth point fourth one uh, that is during loading and unloading material are damaged due to careless handling or you can take uh, careless material handling so this is what the faulty transportation method the transportation method there are four different objectives here i have uh, written first and important one that is improper transportation second one that is material are transported in bulk and third one that is volatile element as i discussed earlier petrol and diesel fourth one that is during loading and unloading material are damaged due to careless material and so move forward to next slide next one that is improper storage so first and important one that is improper storage facility lead to waste formation and that is during storage wastage and deterioration in quality occur due to corrosion and humidity factor and now we can talk about third point and that is during storage wastage and uh, deterioration in quality occur due to humidity dust cold and rain and last one that is the application of scientific warehousing method reduce the wastage so this is what the concept of improper storage so move forward to next slide next one that is lack of control procedure so here i have attached uh, two different objective that related to lack of con control procedure first and important one that is this factor also contribute formation of waste and second one that is material purchase and utilization should be planned carefully so this is what target this is what a lack of control procedure right so move forward to next slide next one that is methods of waste control so here i have written two different method that related to waste control first and important one that is technical research and second one that is managerial research so let's stop on that move forward to next slide next one that is technical research so now we can talk about four different objective that related to technical research first and important one that is through technical research waste can be converted to a profit making stable product second one that is at that time the gain is double since the expense relating to waste disposal is eliminated that is frequently through research a waste is turned into a product that becomes a profitable co product of the operation so this is what the concept of technical research so move forward to next slide next one that is managerial research so it is the combination of two words first of all first that related to management and second one that is research so now we can talk about managerial research so the first and important one that is it concentrate in the proper analysis of requirement and second one that is it concentrate in better control of consumption and a well design in the formation systems this is what the managerial research so this is what the Uh, different method that related to wastage control. First and important one that is managerial research, and second one that related to technical research. So thank you, thank you so much. In this particular session, we have completed waste management. So thank you, thank you so much.